Hey, this is a quick tutorial I want to do on some of the pelt mapping tools. Um, the pelt mapping I found most useful for complex geometry like the mouth, because the mouth is all one piece. It's got teeth, you know, the tongue, and the mouth. Um, so, I like to use pelt mapping to, to really pull this apart. And at first, it, it seems kind of ridiculous, but I want to demonstrate some of the tools of the pelt mapping and how they can really be useful um, in breaking this apart and creating separate pieces. So first, we have this selected. Um, let me see if I start with a quick planar map. No, that's just going to give me the same thing. All right, let's go to... see let's see if I do a pelt right on this the way it is if I do start pelt I wonder why it's only pulling that out hold on a second where's my whole mouth here start pelt that's not my entire model why is it only selecting that small piece What could I do here? What happens if we do cylindrical? Pull it apart like this. Kind of looks messy. Spherical. Maybe that's a little better. Okay. Let's start with that. Um, take it off a spherical. Uh, I'm guessing this area here is teeth, gums, part of the tongue. Okay. So we're going to take this and we'll do a quick planer on this just to break that out. Okay, What we're doing is we're trying to dissect the geometry as best we can and just get to, let's say, um, the teeth. So if I pick these guys here, like this, unselect these. I know none of these guys are part of the uh, part of the teeth anyway. Now we're going to come here, select these guys, and I'll we'll unselect all of this, unselect all of that, unselect all of that, and what we're doing is we're slowly isolating the teeth from everything else. So I'll come in here and just quickly see um, what I can get rid of in there, get rid of the tongue parts, um, orbit around a little bit here. Get rid of that tongue part. Control click. Um, w. Orbit around a little bit more. We can see we got some polys back there selected that we don't want. So we can go um, control click. Get rid of these guys. Actually, I should be doing a wrong shortcut there. There we go. That guy out of there. That guy out of there. Orbit back up and around. See if we got anybody up here we don't want. And we do. We got some guys we do want. Let's do a control click here. Get rid of these guys. Um, Alright, so from there, we'll do another quick planer. So now we separate out the teeth even more. Move you guys here. Okay, who are you? You're probably somebody I don't want. 
orbit around here, pan it back, orbit, where are you? Pan, orbit, there we go. Yeah. So, we'll get rid of you too. Oh wait. Select you all first, then get rid of you. And we'll do another quick planer. And we'll move you guys. Oh no. Come on. We're a little too far away here. Move you guys here. Put you back to there. So I know you're part of him somewhere. Okay. Now we got these different. These are actually three different teeth sections we're going to want to handle separately. Um, these guys got to get out of here. So we'll just quick planer you. I know you're not part of the teeth. Um, move you back to here. Okay. Now we've got our teeth separated. Okay. Now I'm only going to do one section. We'll take this complex part and we'll go to pelt. Now you see our pelt's a little screwy there. Um, if I start pelt, it actually stretches it out pretty nice. Commit. Move you off to the side. Now we can select where our front teeth are. Um, if I could see them. Uh, okay, so you guys are the front teeth. Alright, so just for reference sake, We'll go rotate you around. And we'll make the front on top. Move you here. And then from there, you can adjust your geometry and get everything right. But now you got your front. So that's one way to isolate your teeth using um, quick planer and pelt mapping to stretch them out. Then you would just come into your other parts, um, like these teeth here. Select those guys. Actually, we want to do something like this, and we do a, a pelt. Start pelt. See how that kind of warps it out of whack? Let's stop the pelt, reset it, and then we go into pelt options. What I like to do is snap the seams. Okay, snap the seams. Now the pelt is wrapped around all the seams. We go select pelt UVs right click scale now we can scale our geometry down move it over and um, select stretcher um, select pelt UVs and now we can go in and actually customize our pelt pull it out like this our, our pelt stretcher I mean and then we can click on start pelt and we can see how it stretch it out better um, commit it, we'll move it off to the side, and now just fixing this geometry is a cinch. Come back in here, and now we could see um, if we pick faces, you know, we've got our teeth isolated. These are the front teeth, um, and then you could straighten out your vertices on the UVs and stuff. Uh, but that seems like um, my favorite way to go anyway. You know, here's the the rest of the mouth and part of the tongue. You could always go in and, and eliminate, you know, find out where your tongue parts are. Do um, a quick planer. And then, you know, you end up, like I did with all these extra parts, well, select them all. Um, and then select all of these. Now you have all these spare parts selected do a quick planer on these and that'll put them all back together so now you got the whole mouth and the tongue and your teeth are separated out and you can use quick you know that's it I mean that's kind of um, how I went about unwrapping the complex geometry in the mouth so hope you find that useful pelt mapping big fan right now give it a shot